Hi, this is Jonathan Gardner. We're covering example run one from section 621 of Griffith's Introduction to Electrodynamics. Uh, this is a magnetic field. Um, so we're going to find the magnetic field produced by a uniformly magnetized sphere. So it's basically taking one of these dudes and making a sphere out of it. And what does it do? So um, let's draw the sphere. For our sanity's sake, we're going to have the z-axis align with the magnetization. Let's use blue for the magnetization. So it's uniform, so everywhere it's the same. Okay, and so we calculate the bound um, uh, volume current on the inside there. That's going to be cross m vector, and on the inside, the the curl of m vector is going to be zero. It's just so that's zero. There's no current flowing on the inside, no bound current flowing on the inside. Next we can calculate the uh, the bound surface current. That's going to be the magnetization across the normal hat. The, the normals are the vectors that point uh, directly perpendicular to the surface. So um, using our handy dandy trigonometry and calculus and geometry skills, um, we can calculate so the way this axis works. It goes boom, boom, boom. And then we have a vector that kind of goes up here to the surface. So this is theta. Uh, this is phi. Okay, and so we get that the bound surface current is just m, the magnitude m, times sine theta, and the phi hat direction. Okay. So um, now, if you had a rotating sphere of uniform charge, you would find that the surface current of a rotating sphere of uniform, uniform charge is exactly equal to sigma times the velocity at each point, which you would find to be sigma omega r, radius of the sphere, sine theta in the phi hat direction. <gasps> Looky here, right? If you take this to be the magnetization, then you have the identical case that we've already solved this problem before and we found that uh, the magnetic field inside is going to be equal to two-thirds mu naught times this quantity which is just m vector and the magnetic field outside is going to be equal to four-thirds pi r cubed M vector. Okay. Notice that in, inside the magnetic field is, is uniform. It points exactly parallel with the magnetic, um, the volume, mag what is it called? The magnetization. Um, on the outside, oh, I'm going crazy here. The outside field is not equal to that. That's, this behaves as a pure dipole with the magnetic, magnetic dipole moment of 4 thirds pi r cubed capital M. Um, so, anyway, that's pretty much all there is to say about that. Thanks for your time.